Hey everybody, welcome back to problem 3-8. When we last left our heroes, they had calculated what their costs were going to be for wages paid at the regular rate. We figured out how many overtime hours were going to be required and how much that overtime was going to cost us. But remember, we cut a deal with our employees. We told them that if they would reduce labor required to produce these units, we would split the savings with them. So let's figure out how much that incentive is going to cost us. We knew that on the second 100,000 units, what they told us was we can save you 10%. So if we had a per unit cost of our first 100,000 units, and that was five hours per unit at $20 an hour meant each one, each unit cost us $100 to produce in labor costs. Now, if we, they told us that we thought we had some expected savings. Those expected savings were going to be 10% of the labor cost per unit. So 10% of that $100 per unit cost is going to be $10 a unit. So now I know I have $10 a unit and now I've got to figure on this um, first hundred thousand my total savings there whoops my total savings there is going to be a hundred thousand units times $10 per unit equals one million dollars. Except what we told them was, hey guys, you're going to save us a hundred thousand. That's great. But the bonus payment is only going to be one half of one million dollars. So it means my bonus payment for the first 100,000 units, or the second 100,000 units is going to be five, is going to be this five million dollars. So I'm going to come down here, go ahead and put in my $500,000 payout to my um, effective employees. Now I have to figure on that remaining million units, they told us that they were even um, going to be even better. So we knew that the per unit cost of the first 100,000 units was $100 per unit. Right? Remember, I calculated that up here. So now what it tells me is on the, that last million units that my expected savings per unit was going to be 20% of the $100 per unit labor cost, which means on these last million, they're going to save me $20 a unit, which is great because what it tells me is that my total savings, why can't I spell savings this morning, was going to be 1 million units. And I'm going to save $20 per unit because they're 20% faster, I guess. And so that's a whopping, I mean, hello, $20 million. But remember, the deal I cut with them on the bonus payment is going to be one half of that $20 million. All right, so that means... I'm going to save $10 million producing those last million units. And I'm going to figure out what my total incentive bonus payment is down here. And the second 100,000 units, remember we came up here, we said it was going to be that 500,000. Now my bonus payment on that last million units is $10 million. So I'm going to take a look at that remaining for total incentive bonus pay. 
here it's ten million dollars so what I end up with is I've got to pay out ten million five hundred thousand dollars in bonus incentives to my employees now remember this is in addition to what I already figured were my wages at a regular rate what my overtime premium was and now what my bonus payment is so costs are beginning to accumulate aren't they in uh, the final chapter we will take a look at vacation pay holiday pay uh, some taxes and come up with the grand total so stay tuned